Hello and welcome to another episode of Madam Suzanne. I'm your host, Freddie Shaven. And today I want to share with you the only way that I was able to make a lot of money with my escorts. As you know, there is plenty of ways to make money, especially in this business. One of which is to charge the hourly rate and try to get the client to book as many hours as possible and get as many clients as possible. However, this business model is extremely limited because you're only one person and you can only see so many clients and there's only so many hours a day. So let's take, for example, I charge $500 an hour. So let's say I was an escort charging 500 an hour and you have extra services, CIM, anal, whatever, multiple shots on goal, all this stuff. So let's say your average is $750 per hour. And let's say you are able to see you're a superstar and you're able to see eight clients a day, six days a week. Okay. So eight clients times 750, that's $6,000 a day. If my math is not wrong. And then times six, that's $36,000 a week times four is $144,000 a month. And if you can sustain that, which is extremely difficult because it's really high volume and you have to have not only the stamina, but also the right mindset and a workaholic type of character in order for you to pull something like that off. In my heyday, in my twenties or even thirties, I wouldn't have been able to accomplish such a feat if I was myself an escort, a female escort or whatever, because we're talking about 64 clients a week consistently for an entire year. That's a tall order for an independent escort. And you are, who are in the business will attest to that. Can't not do it. It's not impossible. However, you can only do that for so long as well. So that's one model. Now, of course, the other model, the preferred model is to have some exclusive arrangements or sugar daddies, right? And even then, depending on the benefactor that you have, how much money they're giving you a month, say 5,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000. Those are very, very hard to come by. Anything over 20,000 a month, I can tell you from experience, they're not easy to get and they're very far and few in between. Very rare to say the least. So the only way that I was able to break the code and make a lot of money for myself and for my escorts is not through the conventional effing. No, it's what I like to call mind effing, if you know what I mean. And I think you do. You can only make so much with your assets, if you will, with your body, with your you know what, only do so much. And besides, a beautiful woman with a gorgeous body, with all due respect to all the ladies out there, they're a diamond dozen. Go look on social media. Go look on TikTok, Instagram. Plenty, plentiful. Now, what separates the amateurs from the real professionals in this business are the ones that are able to tap into the mind F. Right? It's how to connect emotionally, mentally, psychologically with your client. Of course, as long as the client can afford it, it doesn't make any difference if you connect 
emotionally, mentally, psychologically with a client that can only afford a thousand dollars a month. Makes no difference. But the ones that do count, the client that's worth 50 million, a hundred million, a billion dollars. Now that makes a big difference. Because when you can connect mentally and emotionally and really get into the psyche and the mind of the client in front of you and be able to search and look for and find that emotional jackpot button that you, you can push and a whole bunch of money come out. just like a slot machine at a casino. The slot machine only pays when it's programmed to pay, when it's ready to pay. So it could be 50,000, it could be 100,000, could be a million dollars, whatever they set that machine to hit that jackpot. And it's a matter of luck. When you sit down on that machine, it's ready to hit. You could put $3 in there and get $2 million. Straight luck. However, there is a correlation between this example, what I'm talking about. Because everybody has that jackpot button. And when someone finds it, they will be able to have the luxury of pushing it anytime they want and get that jackpot. Because we are all programmed a certain way, just like the machine is programmed. And a human being case, with what we're talking about, is the matter of connecting with that human being, connecting with the client's needs, wants, and desires, connecting with what make them really like you, really enjoy being with you, really would do anything to spend time with you. That's the ultimate goal. And once the client is attached to the escort, emotionally, mentally, psychologically, and hopefully physically also as well, which usually starts with that, then the sky is the limit. It could start at a physical level because the first thing the client see is your pictures and your videos. Another pretty face, another gorgeous, sexy body that I want to do. That's what goes through the client's brain. And when you decide that the client is financially able to support your quote unquote exclusive arrangement is the time when you decide to stop active listening, being very attentive, being very careful with every single word said by the client, every single action, watching every move, trying to figure out where is the weak point in that computer program? Where is that need? Where is that desire? Where is it laying? Where does it come from? How can I give that person what they need emotionally, mentally, and psychologically and somewhat physically, of course, but first and foremost is the mind of where's the mind at? Cause men are different than women. Okay. Men use this, women use this, but also some men do have that connection as well from here to here. So as long as you have this and this covered, this will come. 